So this morning, I would like to take the liberty to retranslate or paraphrase, you might say, uh, a verse from Isaiah. It's a, a verse from Isaiah. Isaiah was a prophet uh, in Israel in a time of some calamity, kind of like today. <laughs> And we could question whether the origin of the verse might have been before Isaiah, he, that he might have just picked it up. But be that as it may, um, here's my translation. Seek the presence while it may be found. Call upon the presence while it is near. Okay? Seek the presence while it may, while it can be found, and call upon the presence while it is near. Beautiful instruction. We could think of it in terms of the seeker, someone who is seeking the presence, longing to know it, longing to know something deeper from a spiritual perspective or uh, in their own spiritual experience. Call upon it. In other words, actively seek it and call upon it. Here at Sunrise Ranch, that's the invitation. Call upon it. Call upon it while it's near or while you're near to it. Go, you got to look for it. You could be in the kitchen or in the garden or any place on Sunrise Ranch, and you might not call upon it. You might not seek it. You might walk around and be oblivious to it. And the same is true wherever you are on the planet. And that is the experience for many people. No, at, there's something active to do. Call upon it. Seek it. Seek it out so that you can find it and know it. So that's one perspective to understand or, or, or to think about what Isaiah was saying. But I want to give you another way to think about it. So what would make him think that the presence could be found? Seek, seek the presence while it may be found. So when wouldn't the presence be able to be found? I mean, the presence is the presence. We're talking about something eternal and infinite, right? How could he dare say that there's a time when the presence can't be found? Is there ever a time the presence isn't near? No, it's always near. It's always, what, closer than breathing. The presence is always near. So. Was he an ignorant man <laughs> that he should say such a thing? What was he saying? I'll give you my take. He was saying that you can find the presence at the time he said those words because he was there bringing the presence. Not that it's impossible to find another time. Uh, another time without someone there beside you who's knowing it, but it becomes immediately available when you have somebody who's knowing the presence and who is transparently sharing it. It can be found because of me, he was saying. Call upon the presence while it is near. Why, why was it near or any more near to anybody at that time when he said those words? Call upon the presence because it is near. It was near because he was near. Because I am here bringing it to you. And who knows who he was working with, whether there was some pattern of um, priesthood or whatever you want to think of it. So how about for us? 
Is that what we say? You, you can find the presence because of me. You can call upon it and seek it and find it. It's near to you because I'm near to you. Of course, if we're lost in our self-activity, the presence isn't shining through. But how about when it dawns on us that if we tune down our self-activity and tuned in to the presence ourselves, that we could convey the presence and make it available and make it near to the people in our life to the, and the world that we live in. I would think that if that dawned on a person, it would make them ecstatic and like crazy excited to do that. <laughs> 